Hey humans, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new. Today we are diving into my morning routine, uh, which is focused on kind of like self-care and a slow start to the morning. Um, it takes me about an hour and a half, I would say, in the mornings from like waking up um, to like leaving the house. It is a longer process than maybe just like rolling out of bed um, and kind of running to get the bus. Uh, but I do think it's sustainable. I've had this routine for two years now, I think. Uh, and it kind of also just depends on how much makeup I'm doing and stuff as to how quick it takes. So I'm kind of just gonna run through my whole routine with you. I really, really love it as a kind of start to my morning, kind of feel quite centered, quite grounded. Um, and it always makes me kind of start my day with a smile. Um, and kind of focusing on the on the good things and the positives uh, which I always think helps set you up for the day so nicely. If I miss out stuff in my routine I, my day never goes as well. Um, I really love doing my meditation in the morning um, and just kind of doing my skincare and stuff. I always make time for breakfast as well uh, because it's very important to fuel your body. Um, so yeah without further ado I hope you enjoy the video but let's get on with it. So this morning I woke up at 8.30 to the radio, which I do every morning. Um, I love waking up to the radio because it's different every morning what you wake up to, so you never get like the alarm dread of like what you wake up to, and it's just a really lovely start to the morning. Once I turn the radio off in the morning, I grab my phone and I get back into bed uh, to do my meditation in the morning. Um, so I love this channel called Great Meditation. They've also recently created one which is like five minutes by Great Meditation, um, which I've picked for today, one of their meditations. Um, but I have a playlist on my phone on YouTube that I also listen to in case there's nothing new that I want to listen to. Um, I just do my meditations lying flat, like on my bed. I remove my pillow because uh, it's the comfiest way to do it um, and I can't be bothered to uh, meditate sitting up so it literally just looks like I'm going back to sleep um, but I'm just listening to this meditation yeah I normally kind of do either a five minute one or a ten minute one if I have enough time I'll do a 15 minute one um, but yeah normally around uh, five or ten minutes uh, which is a really lovely start to the morning you then of course have to let in some light um, by either opening the curtains or sometimes I just turn the uh, bedside light on um, and then I start to journal. So I only do like a very, very minor prompt in the morning. So I tick off my meditation habit and then uh, I have the prompt, which is today will be good because, and then I fill that out. Today I wrote that it'll be good because the sun will shine, but other ones I've also written are, it'll be good because I'll be present, I'll make the most of it. I will love myself, um, I will enjoy the company of my friends. So yeah, it's really just kind of an intention for the day, um, just to kind of yeah, get the day started and think about how it's gonna be a good day and get started on the right foot. This morning I just put my dressing gown on and then made my bed how I always make it. And then I head to the bathroom, obviously like go to the loo, but obviously not filming that. <laughs> um, so I just pop my hair back with these hair clips. Um, and then I start to brush my teeth, which is obviously good for you. I always brush my teeth before breakfast. Um, don't fight me on that. <laughs> I then wash my face with this Cetaphil cleanser. Um, I start to rub it on dry onto my skin first, just to really get in there. Um, and then I add some water and kind of lather it up. Um, yeah, I'm probably more gentle in this than I normally am, um, but obviously try and be gentle with your skin um, and I kind of just circular motion it um, all around my face just to get in all the crevices um, and get it all the way around my face. Um, but I actually really like it. It's a very gentle cleanser and it's uh, inexpensive as well. I think all my skincare is fairly, like, fairly inexpensive um, and then I just kind of wipe it off with a wet flannel. Um, and then I put my contact lenses in, but I didn't film that, so you just have this instead. <laughs> After I put my contact lenses in, I just quickly wipe my face over with a flannel again, just to get rid of all the excess saline in case it drips down. And then I use this, it's like a witch hazel um, and tea tree, I think, uh, toner is on the screen if not. Um, and yeah, I use that as a toner. I did have one which was the Garnier salicylic acid one, but I've just run out of that, so I'm using this instead because it was the one I could find in the shop. Um, but yeah, I have kind of oily, acne prone ish skin, which is why I'm using these uh, products. I like to use this as the ordinary um, 
hyaluronic acid serum but i also sometimes use niacinamide as well and i have the simple one um which i use but i just put like a few drops of that and then just kind of put it on my face um the hyaluronic acid one just kind of adds more moisture to your face um and it's really lovely um and i, I feel like my skin is always better after using the serums than uh without using them i then pop some of this um clinique uh, eye cream on which is actually really nice it is a present so it's more expensive but i also have a boots vitamin c one which is also quite nice um and so it's a simple one so yeah there are quite a few nice eye creams uh, but i just put that on under uh, it's just such a nice feeling having eye cream on like it's completely unnecessary what well, is is kind of necessary but um yeah it just feels really nice it's kind of an added step that you don't need to have um and then i have this uh cetaphil um cleanser and i just pop some of that on i think some of it's quite on the floor um <laughs> but <laughs> yeah uh, i just pop that on and moisturize my face I then pop this um, La Roche-Posay um, sun cream on, it's factor 50. I put it on every day, um, even in winter, um, yeah, to kind of stop skin cancer and aging. And just yeah, uh, sun cream is good for you. You should be wearing it every day. Um, so yeah, this is me just popping on the sun cream in the morning. I then pop some lip balm on. Um, this is the Goats the Gorge one. It's really specific and niche. I don't think you can actually find it anywhere easy other than on their website. Um, but I just kind of take a scoop out with my nail and pop it on. Um, and I really like it. It's a very good lip balm. Oh, and she's ready for the day. Um, I just got changed and did my makeup, um, put my jewelry on and stuff. Um, but yeah, so now I'm ready for the day and gonna head down for breakfast. At this point, I would also like to note that um, I listen to music when I'm getting ready for the morning. So I did have a bit of a dance party, which is a very necessary part of my daily routine um, and just having fun and vibing with life. Yeah. <laughs> so this morning I decided to have a hot cross bun. I would say because it's Easter, but I literally have hot cross buns like all year round. Um, so I'm just popping it in the toaster um, and it's very, very tasty. I put um, peanut butter and Marmite on it, which like don't judge me because it's such a good flavour combination. You should really try it if you haven't. Um, it's actually such a classic in my family. It runs, runs through the family. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very yummy breakfast. Um, and then I also just have a vitamin C tablet that I pop in my water um, to have my breakfast. So I've just finished breakfast and that is pretty much my routine finished. If I was at uni, I'd kind of just pack all my bags and then I'll just quickly head to the bus um, but yeah um, it's Easter Saturday today so I'm just here for another hour or so and then we're heading off to see my grandparents for Easter which will be very nice my cousins um, so I'm looking forward to that but I hope you have enjoyed watching and I hope you managed to implement some of these because I find them so valuable in my life and I just really really love it as a routine in the morning I also have a nighttime routine so if you do want to see that at some point in the future let me know um, if there's anything else you want to see again just pop it down in the comments down below give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already all the best lots of love bye